why would he do that? Why would somebody of such a good position, such a successful person, such an otherwise laudatory person, why would they do something like this? <laughs> Rajat Gupta is a very good man. I've worked with him. He is a man who really cares uh, for uh, making a difference. He's a man of enormous talent, enormous intellect, enormous good deeds. It was perhaps one of the most keenly watched trials of recent times. The one of Wall Street poster boy Rajat Gupta, the former Goldman Sachs director who has now been sentenced to two years of jail for insider trading, who in his own words has lost his reputation built over a lifetime. Hello and welcome. You're with We Mean Business. I'm Shweta Rajpal Kohli. On the show today, we're going to discuss lessons for the corporate world from the Rajat Gupta case. But first, let's bring you up to speed with all the developments with regard to the case. He declined to testify at his trial, but Rajat Gupta took up the judge's offer to address the court before he was sentenced. Speaking out for the first time since insider trading charges were filed against him, the Indian-born Rajat Gupta, who was orphaned when he was 12, said, The last 18 months have been the most challenging of my life since I lost my parents as a teenager. I regret terribly the impact on family, friends and institutions that are dear to me. Rajat Gupta's defense team tried unsuccessfully to keep their client out of jail, saying the loss of his reputation was a punishment far worse than prison. They called his tip-offs an aberration in an otherwise laudatory life. But the judge was having none of that. Rajat Gupta is a good man, Judge Rakoff said, but the world is full of examples of good men who have done bad things. Over 400 letters of support had been submitted to the judge, including from luminaries like Bill Gates and Kofi Annan. Judge Rakoff admitted that he had never encountered a defendant with such an extraordinary devotion to philanthropy, but said a prison sentence was necessary to send a message to insider traders that when you get caught, you will go to jail. The law has been vindicated, Main Street has been protected, and Wall Street has been warned. Gupta's lawyers have made it clear that this is not the end of the legal battle and that they will appeal. The government also has to be mindful about its ethics because when they got the permission to wiretap uh, Raja Ratnam, which is the parallel case, there are issues as to whether it properly applied for the wiretap permission, whether it may have misled the judge, and these issues are going to be hotly contested in appeal. Uh, he is a man uh, who is a man of integrity. It's unfortunate that, you know, in a you know, very weak moment, uh, he erred. He, it was an error of judgment. With the sentencing complete, Team Gupta is now moving on to the next chapter, appealing his conviction. But even that may have to be done behind bars. The judge refused Gupta's request to remain free while he appeals his case. Gupta will have to surrender to federal prison authorities on the 8th of January. In New York, Sarah Jacob, NDTV. Get the mic out.